<laughs> my oh my, what a year we had and welcoming this new year. What's going on everybody? I wanted to jump in and share this video because in the last 24 hours, as we transition into 2021, so many thoughts, so many feelings, so many reflection and perspective has come into my mind and I needed to share it with you because I felt as though this may motivate someone or move someone to a direction of where I had a lot of change in my life. So in 2020, the one word that came to my mind after everything that's been going, that has happened, we saw it, the pandemic, racial injustice, everything you can name, presidential election, everything here in the States. The one thing that I got out of last year, clarity. 2020 was truly a year of 2020 vision. And what I say by that is, if you let the dust settle, if you let your emotions settle, if you let all that subside, the one thing I realized is that I came to a point where I realized what's important in my life. The priorities of things in my life finally stood out. In 2020, there was an opportunity for all of us to sit back and just kind of analyze, hmm, what, what, is this, what does this one life really truly matter? And what means to me the most in this life? For me, obviously you guys have been following me. My relationship with God took off. Uh, it was it was a brand new thing for me. The trajectory after visiting Transformation Church was amazing. And I took off and ran with it. My relationship with God, I kept developing it each and every day. Um, Y'all saw it in my posts. Y'all saw it in my YouTube. You guys saw everything that transpired. Um, and I got a lot of clarity from it. And the one thing that, that, that I kept saying to myself was like, why is it this feels so new, but yet still familiar? Like it felt so familiar growing up, um, you know, like like I had my great grandmother raise me and praying over me and stuff like that. But I didn't really never develop a relationship with God. So 2020 was the year that I did that. And boy, oh boy, has my life and trajectory of my life changed for the better. And I only say this to, to really encourage anyone out there who's going to see this video um, to ask questions, right? Like I am not all-knowing i am not perfect in any way shape or form i have a history i have a years years of just you know being quote unquote having fun and stuff like that but um what i will tell you is because of my decision because of my growth and development because of my day in and day out daily devotional daily um development of relationship with god life has been the 2020 was beautiful and it gave me such perspective and clarity leading into 2021 now i've always heard that people talk about you know as you pray to god pray to god into the new year stuff like that he's going to give you a vision or give you a word or give you something i was like what does that mean like as i'm learning um as as a recent believer um i did get a word I got two words, but one main word for 2021. And I want to share that with you guys. God told me in a dream, be patient and obedient this year. Obedience was like the big word for me, but I saw patience. <clears throat> and the, and not, not saying that I haven't been obedient um, because that's where my development and growth and relationship has grown over these last nine months in 2020 um but the obedience that he's talking about for 2021 for me is that he's going to give me nuggets and he's going to give me visions and he's going to give me things to do he wants me to be obedient to the point where when i know it's him i just do it i don't question it what other people will call quote unquote blind faith um I saw it loud and clear that my objective for 2021 is to be obedient to anything that he asks of me. And so I share that with you guys because I know a lot of people have recently started following me, started seeing my journey, started asking a lot of questions and stuff like that. And there's, and I feel this, and I'm going to say this out loud, there's eyes on me, not in a bad way, but eyes on me as in like to see how God's going to move me. And I embrace and I am grateful for all the prayers that everybody's been sending, um, all the the encouragement, the anointing that you guys are putting over me. Um, 
it's, it's an amazing feeling. So I want to share this with you guys. For anyone who comes across this video that is a recent believer or someone that's on the fence or someone who just doesn't even want to believe in God, but like is curious, right? Like, I just want to throw this out there to encourage you guys to watch and see and continue to see how God unveils things to a regular person like me, right? No one special, someone that's not perfect, someone that's constantly progressing to be a better person, um, and, and someone who is just in love with God, who's going to glorify him in everything that I do. And so, you know, I, I, I really wanted to share this with you guys because I feel as though there's going to be a shift for many of us. Um, and I just hope and I really encourage you to jump, jump on learning about God and seeing how he is just so loving and so forgiving. And the one thing that I can tell you guys right now is, you know, what I learned is everything that I've done in the past is part of the testimony that I'm supposed to share with everyone. And it makes it relatable, right? A lot of times people have come across like, whoa, you did that in your past. And, you know, you were like this and you were a manipulator. And da -da 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 -da. I was like, yes, I was. I can admit that. I did a bunch of stuff, bad stuff. And um, through the grace of God, I've had the opportunity to repent. And repent just means turn, right? Like it's nothing like crazy as in like, oh my God. But no, it's just turn. I decided to pivot and change my ways. And one thing I've learned throughout this, you know, in the end of 2021, though, as you get closer to God, you just want to become a better person. Like at the end of the day, you just don't want to, you know, you, you don't want to, to, to disappoint him. Like, it's not saying that he's all my, like, oh my God, I can't read. No, it's just, you want to be such a good person. You want to, you know, represent him so well that you don't want to let him down. And you end up being just a really good person. And so I just really want to share this with you guys as we get into 2021. Like, this was the word that was given to me. Obedience. I need you to be obedient because there's going to be things I'm going to throw at you and ask you to do. And I need you to do it without even questioning it. And, and with that obedience comes blessings. And with those blessings comes, I just want to show you guys what's taking place. Because I know, you know, a lot of times people don't truly believe until they see, which is fine. So use me as that, right? I'm not saying anything. I don't know anything's going to happen to me. I'm just going to put it out there, right? Um, at the beginning of the year, January 1st, I'm going to put it out there and say that something's going to happen. I want to be an example I would love for God to use me in what ways for other people to be encouraged to be like, dang, this average Asian dude, yo, he got blessed. That can happen to me. Yes, it can happen to you. So uh, I encourage you guys to to ask questions. I encourage you guys to to just take some time and just talk to him. Don't even like, like quote unquote pray, but like have conversations with God. And let's just set this 2021 off on a right note. All right. So. I, I just want to send all my prayers and thoughts and love to everybody out there who's been following, who's recent followers, who are just joining on. I love you guys. Thank you so much. You guys are so supportive in everything that I do. I love you guys. And uh, let's keep this rocking and rolling. Happy 2021, everybody. Cheers to y'all. Have a blessed one. Love you.